Hey race fans, welcome to World of Warships Racing Legends. And today we are going to bring to you clean lap times from each of the tracks. All right, so the first track is the long track, the legendary track. You can see here, it looks like the Nürburgring. It's a single lap with many turns, probably more than 20 or 30 turns by the time it's all said and done. And the trick here is to go to full power before the start and then hit the speed boost and get a whole shot launch. This is very similar to the launch controls in real Formula One racing. And somehow this Flash Marine gets a whole shot on me, which I really don't understand. I shoot him momentarily and try to break away here, but they do get me with a torpedo. So that is the one time that I do get hit here at the beginning. And other than that, this is going to be a clean lap for a big time victory on this legendary track. You can see here these guys get all bunched up and I think what happens here is they get tied up in that turn and just let me break away and they can never recover throughout the course of this race. Here you can see they are trying to take some shots at me with the torpedoes but they miss. If they don't do anything to stop me by the time I get up to this turn it is all over with and this is one of the speed boost locations right here around this main turn where with the speed boost you have no fear of going out to the outside of the wall this is a full speed turn this other turn coming up here is another full speed turn you don't have to worry about understeering and pushing out to the wall and here this is a straight shot through this little barricade up here uh, you can go around the outer edge if you want but it's definitely the long way around and you will lose time but we're coming up to the first chicane on this track and that is right here you want to be mindful of hitting close to this apex of this turn right here and then basically going straight to the next turn way up by the red and yellow arrow indicator and the green arrow right here so you want to stay to the left and then push in to the right part of the corner here and you can see if you get close to this apex you can go at full speed through this turn and hit this apex right here you get very close to the wall but you don't really hit the wall and this is another speed boost area right here you can see I'm saving the speed boost until I get up here a little way and now I realize I'm fairly far ahead so I hit the speed boost a little late a lot of times I would hit the speed boost early but frankly once you make it this far and you're this far ahead you are home free at least for this race so here the whole idea is you want to get to this part of the track and try to ignore the twisty bits and just stay straight through this part of the track and when you get to the yellow and red arrows up here you want to go down to second gear that would be half speed or three quarter speed and you slow down you don't hit the barriers and you easily glide through here you nudge up a little bit here and you do the same thing down to quarter speed to really be able to make this turn and then you just power back up and you want to do the same thing here on this final turn before the lap ends and so here we are dropping down to quarter speed and you hit the speed boost right here to be able to power into the finish and that does it for a lap on the legendary circuit basically untouched right there except for the beginning of that lap you can see how much of a wide margin we outdistance the rest of the field that was really quite surprising I was starting to get the hang of racing legends here once you learn about the track I have done quite a few racing simulators in my time and I am a big time Formula One fan so when I first started playing this mode I really didn't like it but I've really learned to enjoy it and I've gone on uh, several streaks of winning you know several races in a row at times so for me this is turning into quite a fun event it's a great break from the monotony of battleships cruisers and destroyers and aircraft carriers but first place three minutes and 19 seconds that is my best lap time on the legendary track so next up is the short track it is a circuit track this race is for two laps and you do the same thing you can see I'm at full power once I get down to one zero 
I hit the speed boost and basically get a whole shot. The Flash Marine right here does not have a chance. I'm not really sure how the Flash Marine in that legendary race was able to uh, out boost me there at the beginning. But here you can see, got a whole shot. I broke away. These guys really don't do not have a chance. On the first turn, second turn right here, you definitely want to go down to half power so that you do not drift out. And then you power up again. If you drift out to that barrier, you are dead in the water. It is really bad news. So you want to try to stay disciplined to hit some of these corners at a one quarter power or even half power. You see, I'm still within range of those torpedoes, so I am not home free at this point, but I am doing fairly well. Coming up here is one of those speed boost areas and you just power right around these next two turns and you have no fear of understeering and hitting the barriers. The traction just sticks pretty good right here and it really is an awesome feeling once you get the hang of this. Here though, I do go out a little bit too far. I was looking at the mini map to see uh, how far in front I was and let me just say, you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep the racing mentality of what's behind you doesn't matter. You just want to go forward and be mindful of what's in front of you. And this hairpin turn right here is very reminiscent of the spa circuit in the current Formula One season. So anyone who's a Formula One fan will be familiar with that. Here, once I get up to this one area where there's a breakout over to the right, I am going to nudge over there because you can see that my opponents are on the main straight with me and I'm afraid that they're going to get a lucky shot and slow me up or even hit me with a torpedo but frankly once I make it around the first turn here these guys are just done there, there's no way I'm going to lose this race unless something really bad happens and here I go down to second uh, gear again like uh, half speed or quarter speed and that just slows you down in here I was sort of distracted somehow. That's what happens when you get out in the front by yourself. You start thinking too much and like, oh boy, I'm actually going to win this race. And uh, once you lose focus, that is it. So here I am kind of struggling to make it around these hairpins, these S turns as it were. But once I get up here and make it to this next speed boost area, I am gone and there's really no chance of losing this race. So we're about ready to hit the speed boost again and we hit the speed boost and we are just gone. You can see that the rest of the field is all bunched up and they're not really on the same part of the track I'm at at all. So I have no fear of getting shot by their guns or their torpedoes at this point. I just have to make it clean through the rest of this race. So here I think I'm gonna do a little bit better job making it around this turn. I do go down to half speed again just to be on the safe side. I'm so far ahead that there's really no need to blow it. And you can see that the rest of the field is really bunched up together. They're probably like bumping into each other, uh, trying to get out of each other's way while we are just powering on to an easy victory. I kind of feel like Michael Schumacher here in the speedboat. And this is basically what Racing Legends is all about. Once you learn the track, and learn some of the secrets about going around the turns and minding the apexes. Uh, the race is yours for the taking. All right, well, a first place result, three minutes and 43 seconds on the two lap circuit. That is my best time to date. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like it.